Hello, this is Lauren, African Life, and we're live at Uprising. We've got Protege with us today. Sabona, Protege. Sabona, Sabona. Unjani. Neapila. Oh, lesson 101 from African Life, African Life, and Protege is speaking Zulu. <laughs> How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. It's been a great joy to be here, play music, you know. And how were you feeling the crowd responding to to your performance? Oh, it was great. The people are into it, you know, even though I'm new to this place, you know, because they were telling me that they really listened to a lot of 90s reggae and earlier. Yeah. So it was joy for them to accept me like this, you know, but music is universal. So, yeah. Yeah. True that. In terms of your musical career thus far, you know, you've been deemed, you know, something close to Bob Marley as I've done my research and found out how, how does that make you feel and what is your feeling about it um, I just have to say I just give thanks for whatever is um, you know given to me I really don't watch that stuff I just try to do my best and and uh, and then knowing that, that that my best done is is I mean what I did was the best I could have done is what's really important Bob Marley and greats like that, I, you know, I we can never be as great as the ones that came before you, you know, because they are the ones that set the thing. I always give respect and honor to those, and just to even be mentioned amongst them is great for me. You know? That's great. And in terms of uh, projects that you have coming up and your tours, how have you felt being on tour in Europe? Because I know you've been touring in Europe, and what has that been like for you? We've been touring for two months now in Europe, a, a month before that in California, so I haven't really been home since June, but it's be, I love to play and be and stay. Listen, I, every day I get up, I give thanks to the most I, that this is my life and I play music. It's a joy for me, so I love it and it's great to be on the road. I have a new album coming out next year sometime, but just focusing on the stage right now and when we get back home, we focus on that. And going on to a more spiritual question, what does repatriation mean to you? Repatriation now is Africa is, is, is the is the you know beginning of civilization is, is where is where it all begun and you have to know your roots. I for example have never been to Africa and can't wait till I go there. I think repatriation is a thing that I look at it as a individual thing and, and each person in their own time should try to go and connect and see what it's about and go over there and try to connect with the you know the original roots. But I feel that you know you know thought should be free and not coerced. So I can't tell a person when to you know what I mean. So you just have to something you have to seek out by yourself. But to be there in Africa, I cannot wait till I get my chance to go. And you know I from what I hear, it's coming real soon. So. Especially to go there and play music for the ISM is going to be a great thing. Well, we'll be welcoming you with open arms back home. <laughs> Do you live there? Yes, I'm actually based. I'm based in Vienna, but my roots are South African as well, and Africa will always be home <laughs> to me. <laughs> um, what does Zion mean to you? Everything, you know. <laughs> you want to be there. You want to be there when the trumpet sound. You want to be in Zion, you know what I mean? Zen is a state of consciousness also. Zen is here right now and it's, be, it's to be able to be in Zion while you're in, in Rome, but in Zion in your mind because it's all a state of consciousness. This is all, it's all about a spiritual warfare and a spiritual level, a spiritual way to look on things and not just physical, yeah? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, back home, we're always relating to Jamaica in terms of reggae music, but Africa also has its own own folk music and you know, we know that all music actually comes we say comes from Africa. <laughs> in terms of the struggle as well, um, what what effect do you feel Africa has on Jamaica in terms of the struggle we're all going through? What effect Africa has on Jamaica? Mm -hmm. Do you personally feel that Africa has an effect on, on Jamaica? Well, His Majesty is saying uh, until Africa uh, as, a, as a nation is united and at peace, there will be war. 
Africa is so important to the development of the entire world. We see many countries getting rich off of the sweat and work of Africa. So even Jamaica, every country suffer, every country in the world suffers when Africa is not liberated and not free and not at peace. So the king said that then and it's still true now until, until Africa is united as a nation and start to reap the, reap the benefits of its own soil, then the whole world in trouble. That's very, very true. Um, what would your message be to the youth around the world and the youth in Africa as well? First of all, we say read, now get closer to his imperial majesty. You'll find a lot of truth that way. You know, we just say, just know, say, no matter how the struggle may look, it's a spiritual thing. And once your mind are prepared, once your mind can see a way out of things, you know, the, the body will follow suit. So we just tell them to be strong in heart, you know, clean in heart and strong in mind and push forward, you know. Okay. And what, how would I say, what would be that one moment in your life or that one moment where you're feeling down that actually lifts you up what makes you what makes you smile basically when you're when you're feeling down what memories come to mind that actually put a big smile on your face for me it's family and the support I get from my parents and my, my sister and when no one was there they were there for me and every time I feel down I remember that I'm doing this for them you know along with everybody else but you know, I always remember a smile on my parents' face and as a little youth watching me dance and sing. That's why I act like a kid on stage, you know? Any special lady in your life? <laughs> <laughs> um, not right now, but I'm searching. Okay. <laughs> I think all the ladies wanted to know after all the photos they've seen on African Life, so... Protege, Jay, we would like to say thank you very much for affording us this opportunity to spend this time with you, to have an interview with you. We wish you all the best on the rest of your tour in Europe and we wish you all the best in future with your up-and-coming projects. So, you take care. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me and a bless up African Live every time. Thank you. <laughs>